morning. Welcome to quarantine day two. So quarantine officially starts the day after you arrive in Japan, which kind of sucks. So it's technically like 15 days that you can't go anywhere. Today is day two. I'm planning on just cleaning out my house today. So that's the plan for today. Let's go. <laughs> first iHerb haul in ages. I used to order from them like every other week but they stopped selling lots of my favorite products that I can't get here in Japan but they do still have lots of staples that I love and I figured quarantine would be a good time to do a big order and prep some stuff for the house so that I don't have to go out grocery shopping. I'm allowed to go out grocery shopping but I really get anxious about the location check that comes in randomly like four times a day. If I do my location check and I'm not at home, then like a representative will call me and they'll ask me what I'm doing. <laughs> and it just sounded really scary. So I've been trying to avoid going out as much as possible. I forget what I got. Ordered this a while ago. Ooh, brown rice noodles for pad thai to go with the sauces I got in Canada. This is goji and cacao chocolate berry bites. Little snack things. Wasa crackers. These are like a new version of wasa cracker that I've never seen before. They sounded good and I'm always looking for some kind of like crisp bread or cracker or something for avocado in the morning instead of bread. These are amazing with avocado. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Okay, these are low calorie noodles. Yeah, there's only six calories per serving and they're made from kelp. They look so cool and they feel really like chewy and squishy. I'm gonna try these with stir fry tonight. We'll see how it goes. And lastly, some of my favorite Korean style seaweed snacks. These are awesome when you want something salty to snack on. They're so addictive though. And that's it. Finally dinner time. I've been looking forward to trying out these kelp noodles all day. I'm gonna chop up a bunch of veggies, add these into the pan, and then add some of the sauce that I got from Canada. Should be really easy if it tastes good. That will be awesome. They have a really interesting texture. <laughs> don't know what to compare them to really. They're pretty firm still, a little rubbery, and they have a slight scent of the ocean. It's not very overpowering, but it just kind of smells like ocean water. Looks great. The noodles kind of softened up when I fried them. Looks like normal stir fry. The texture seems a little or a little hard maybe. You don't really need to cook them. It kind of just said to put them in the pan and like stir them up with the sauce and you're good. Oh, they're crunchy. What the hell? That was a really weird texture. <laughs> I feel like that would take some getting used to. The texture isn't like noodles at all. They taste a little weird. I can't tell if it's the sauce or the noodles. <laughs> okay, the veggies taste pretty good. Yeah, the noodles themselves have kind of like a sour, bitter flavor. Not a fan of that. Maybe it would work better with like a soy sauce, ginger type stir fry sauce, but definitely not this peanut one. apartment has this really cool system where this red light flashes and that means there's a notice for me. So if I click it, 
it'll tell me what the notice is. Sometimes it's a notice from like the manager of the apartment announcing something. Um, but today it says takuhai, which means delivery. So there's a package for me downstairs. Let me show you guys what I ordered. I'm so excited for this. But recently, I guess not too recently, maybe about a year ago now, I got a new vlogging camera. And it's great, except for when you put stabilization on, it zooms in, like it crops in so much that my face would like take up this much of the frame when I'm vlogging. It was so sad because everything else about the camera was great, but that was the only problem. And then I found this, it's a wide angle lens that I can attach to my vlog camera, the one I'm using right now, and it will make the picture wider. So even when I'm using the stabilization while I'm vlogging, I should be able to have a decently sized frame, probably something like this. All right, so here is the camera without the lens with active stabilization on. So if I were to be vlogging, I would want the active stabilization on so the footage is smooth. And if I reach my arm out as far as possible, that's as wide as it gets. But normally I would probably hold the camera about here. So that's no good. You guys won't be able to see what's going on in the background. It's just gonna be my face. All right, so this is with the lens on and I'm holding it at a comfortable distance away from my face. This is probably where I would hold it to vlog. So huge improvement. There's lots more space going on here. If I were to hold my arm out far, it would look like that. So this is great. This is a huge improvement. I'm so glad I got this. I can't wait to test it out. I guess I'll be bringing it on my road trip. got a surprise in the mail today from Gelato Peak. It is a loungewear company, a Japanese loungewear brand. Their stuff is so cute, but I have never been able to buy anything for myself because it's always sold out. So this was so sweet of them to send me something. Oh, that looks so cozy. So this is from their Super Mario collection. How cozy does that look? Oh my god. And some adorable slippers to match. Cute.
on my Tinder profile. <laughs> I could eat like 20 of these a day for the rest of my life and not get sick of them. If you can get them in your grocery store and you've never tried one, go try one. They look like tomatoes, but I promise they, they don't taste anything like tomatoes. It's really hard to explain the flavor of them. I think it's the texture that I like the most. They're a little crunchy, but they're also a little chewy. Like they've got a little bit of a mochi texture to them and they're so sweet. Mmm. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making something interesting for breakfast. So my friend Michaela got me this jam uh, on a trip to Kyoto, I believe, and it's made from my favorite flower, Kinmokuse. If you've ever been to Japan when this is blooming, you will remember the scent because it is so nice. It must be the best scent in the entire world. I don't think anything beats it. I really hope this jam smells like it. It's a very subtle scent. It does smell like the flowers, but very subtly. It mostly smells like honey. It's quite sweet. It should taste really good on toast, so that's what we're gonna try today. Whoa, that's so weird. So it didn't really smell like the flowers, but it tastes how they smell. That is amazing. I'm gonna be so sad when that runs out. I'm gonna have to find out where to buy it. Mmm. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of apricot jam a little bit, but with like the taste of the scent of the Kinmokse flowers. Mmm, <laughs> so good. I need to do some photography for my stationery business while it's still sunny. We put together these really cute journaling sets with little tapes and stickers that you can use for journaling. So I've got to take some photos of those for the website. I usually do it up here on my window because it has the best lighting.
it is so cold at night now, which is weird because during the day, it's quite hot. Some days it can get up to like 18 degrees still, but at nighttime it gets so chilly to the point that like I could use a heater and it wouldn't be weird but I'm gonna have a bath instead. I've been having lots of baths since I got back. I'm allowed to now that my incision has healed to a point that I'm allowed to like have a bath and stuff, so. I was watching a bunch of Let's Plays of like indie games for the Switch. I haven't played any games in ages. I always feel kind of like guilty, like I'm wasting time <laughs> and I should be working on something. Because I work from home, it's kind of hard to like relax without feeling like I should be working instead. But considering I've got two weeks to kill inside, I figure now is the perfect time to download something. I found this game called Unpacking and it looks so simple. All you do is unpack boxes like for a move and place the items in the places they're supposed to go in your room. <laughs> and I don't know, it looks really cute. It just looks like the kind of thing that would be really relaxing and you don't have to think too much. And it's kind of satisfying to put everything in its place. Um, I probably should be doing that in real life. I have some boxes left that I haven't unpacked yet, but <laughs> this Switch version looks uh, a little more appealing than doing it in real life. So I'm gonna download it. It's only 2,000 yen. I just found it, 2,090 yen. So let's try it out. This is really cute. Yeah, for $20, I'd say it's really worth it if you like this kind of genre of game. Because I'm out of groceries, I'm gonna order something for dinner. Luckily, my favorite restaurant is open. I love this place. They do a delivery bento and you don't know what you're gonna get. It's a surprise, so it's kind of fun. They also have banana bread, but I think I'll just get the bento. I'm so excited to try this new kabocha soy milk. So they do have, um, I was sure the English for this, <laughs> kikangente. 
like seasonal, seasonal flavors of the soy milks. And I've never seen this one before. So I think this is a new one for this year. Back in Canada, when something's pumpkin flavored, it always is also pumpkin spice flavored. So it kind of tastes like a pumpkin pie. But in Japan, when something's pumpkin flavored, they don't use those spices with it. So it just tastes like pumpkin. <laughs> so it kind of tastes like, like a vegetable soup or something most of the time. This will probably be a little sweet because these soy milks are quite sweet usually. Let's see. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah, so it basically tastes like a cold pumpkin soup. <laughs> but with like a sweet cream flavor. So kind of like cold pumpkin soup mixed with whipped cream or something. I really like it. I think I'm just gonna cozy up on the couch and watch some TV for the rest of the night. I normally don't watch TV, but I got a Google Chromecast and I can now watch YouTube, Netflix, Apple TV, what else? Amazon Prime and like, all of those on my TV, and it's so easy. <laughs> Not sponsored. I've been watching a show called Inside Number Nine. Um, if you like Black Mirror, I feel like you would like this because it's really similar in the way that every episode is its own little story and it's kind of dark. Um, yeah, really similar to Black Mirror, so check it out if you are a fan of Black Mirror. It's really good. I think it's on Apple TV. 